Hey everyone, welcome back. Thanks for joining us. Today, we've got a brand new story to share with you. So let's begin. We have been together since I was 15 and due to some poor choices, we were both teen parents at 16. I have lived with her my entire adult life after my parents kicked me out of the house. I never had reason to doubt her and her loyalties until recently and that's been hitting exceptionally hard after she's been my rock for such a long time. This last holiday season was very hard on my partner. She had been struggling with her mental health and after receiving medication for her anxiety, she fell even further down the rabbit hole. Apparently the prescription was not tailored to her needs and it led to her spending months in bed crying and having panic attacks. During this time I did everything I could for her. I was by her side every day after work and me and my son did everything we could to make her comfortable. This time was hard for me too, I gave up all of my interests and hobbies to take care of her, as well as gaining a fair amount of weight from stress eating. Near the end of this psychosis, I began to notice her pulling away from me. She became really good friends with this guy who had mental health issues as well and I could tell something was wrong. She constantly wanted to talk about him and she kept telling me how crazy he was. Alarm bells were ringing in my head, but I kept just trying to support her because she had been having such a terrible time. You can all guess from the fact that I am on this subreddit that she was actually flirting with this guy and had been talking about leaving me to be with him. She wasn't being serious, I don't think, only because this guy lived in a poor Eastern European country and he was never going to be able to support her. She claimed that she got in over her head and became addicted to the positive attention from that guy. I was pretty heartbroken because she had lied to me and gaslit me throughout this first emotional affair. She told our friends during this affair that I was being controlling whenever I would ask her to stop talking to him because it was giving me a bad vibe, she agreed to stop talking to him then kept going three times, which also effectively alienated me from the few friends I had. I was in a bad place after this, I began abusing legal substances and I was really struggling to maintain my relationship with my partner. I was definitely struggling to come to grips with her betrayal, especially since we had been through some very difficult times before this point. I will admit that this isn't the first time we have had issues with infidelity. We had both had emotional affairs at about the same time about two years ago, and it wasn't either of our brightest moments, but we both learned to communicate far better afterwards, which solved many issues in our relationship at the time. Due to our previous issues with infidelity, I was willing to give her the benefit of the doubt, but I was still fairly critical of her choices. From my perspective, I was blindsided by her infidelity because I believed we were in a good place, especially because she acted so grateful for all of my support during her anxiety event. I felt I had given her my all during her crisis, and she turned around and stabbed me in the back. I was definitely not very nice, in a way I still think was acceptable, for the first few weeks after the first affair, but I simmered down and we were on the road to recovery. She could tell I was deeply hurt by what happened and how negatively she had impacted me. The apologies were deep and heartfelt. She was really worried that I would leave her because she had cheated on me. While I can't say the thought didn't cross my mind at the time, I was genuinely still trying to get back to a place where we would be alright. I would even go so far as to say that I had believed that we had reached that point, she had gotten a therapist, and we had been having deep discussions on what we needed from each other to make things work. I was still feeling very insecure afterwards, and that's when I noticed that she was being secretive again. Initially, I was just thinking that it was a case of paranoia, but I kept my eyes on her, and I began to notice an all-too-familiar set of patterns. I was shocked to see her acting the same way again, especially after all of the progress we had recently made. I finally confronted her, and I was right. Apparently her friends had been telling her I was controlling and manipulative, based on the BS information that my partner was spreading about me, which she has since told me she was projecting onto me, and she had decided to find a backup man in case we didn't work out. I cannot express in words how mad this made me, not only did she do this to me again, but all while she was still apologizing to me for the first time. The insult doesn't stop there, no, she refuses to delete this guy off my phone or even let me read through the chat because she still wanted to have this guy in case I broke up with her for her obvious betrayal. This led to a big argument where I began packing my bags to leave while she was begging me to stay. After hours of her begging and me feeling like I was going crazy, we finally got to bed. I went to work the next day. I was feeling like death when I went into work that morning after three hours of sleep. I made it through the day and we even had a reasonable chat on my lunch break. I was heading home, ready to have further discussions on what we were going to do from here, when I decided to call her. This was by far the worst part of this experience for me. 
I called her, and she told me my things were in the front yard. I was flabbergasted that she was kicking me out in such a cold way. She had put my things in trash bags and had her dad pick up my son so he didn't see all this go down. I was essentially told over the phone, because she refused to speak to me in person, that she wanted me to have time to myself to heal so that I could come back to her after I had healed. Now, behind the scenes, things were not as they appeared. Her friend came over, moved my things out, and essentially told my partner that this was for the best. While I was calling after work, this friend was sitting next to her, telling her that she needed to make me leave and not speak to me. I went to a nearby park after a quick stop at the vape store, and I waited for a call back since she had promised me one after a few hours. I spent three hours walking around the park contemplating my life, and finally I got a call back. This is when I was told all of this information about her friend, and she once again begged me to come back. I made her come to the park and talk to me in person before I would step back into the house I was just kicked out of. I made her delete that guy off her phone before I would even speak to her. She did, and she made a bunch of promises she has been managing to keep. I'm still with her now, and this was about a month ago. I cannot stop remembering how painful those events were, and now I have severe trust issues. I pretty much had to tell her that if I see her talking to any men on the internet for any reason, I am done. I fell back into substance abuse after the second emotional affair, and I am finally digging myself out of this hole again. I cannot do this again. I am beyond exhausted and emotionally damaged in a way I haven't experienced before. I feel like my partner has been doing such a great job recently, but there is always this fear of this piece falling apart. I feel like all of my hopes and dreams still haven't come back into focus yet and I am struggling with a lot of self-hatred. My only saving grace has been my partner's exceptional behavior and my new job as a civil designer. I don't know what I want out of this post, but if anyone wants to let me know what I could do about my feelings following these events, I would appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more stories like this. See you next time.